My ideal halter horse is, is a horse that, uh, that uh, exhibits uh, exceptional balance, structural correctness, is pretty, uh, is, a, is a cadence mover, you know, just a horse that, it, that is ex not only exceptional to look at, but exceptional to watch it move across the arena. You know, to me that's the ideal. We want a horse that comes at us, you know, flat and straight and square, uh, carries itself well, uh, you know, in all of our lines are, are straight and true in the legs. The one thing that I think people relate to the halter horse is they, they believe that they have to be large and, and not only height but in muscling. And uh, not that those aren't good things, but without balance and structural correctness, uh, it doesn't matter how big the horse is or heavily muscled the horse is, it doesn't make him an ideal halter horse. I think size and muscling is a degree of difficulty. It's icing on the cake, but you have to have the, the balance and structural correctness first. And balance, it's a, it's a simple word, uh, but a lot of things attribute to balance. And to, for a horse to be a balanced, he has to be structurally correct. And he has to be proper in his shoulder, shoulder angulation, uh, his knee to hock ratio. And, and balance plays a role, of course, in the overall function of the horse also. If the horse is not properly balanced, he's not gonna perform uh, you know, to his utmost ability. Uh, form to function is what we call, uh, you know, that's what we want. We want a horse that's properly formed so he can function properly. The two things that create balance or, or distort balance the most is the shoulder and the angulation of the shoulder, the, the depth of the heart, and the knee to hock ratio. That all affects the balance, but uh, to, to, to describe balance, it, it's basically a horse that has three equal thirds. You know, a horse that flows from front to rear, and all the parts uh, are uniform and, and uh, harmoniously blend. You know, just, just be aware of, uh, of how to properly condition your animal. Uh, don't get him overweight, don't have him underweight. Just the proper clipping and grooming and, you know, all those are simple things uh, and uh, they're free. You know, if you just go ask and, and watch and learn and uh, in a lot of cases it can be the difference between several placings. So, and, and just spending time with your animal and getting him, getting him broke and, and to where you can show him to the best of his ability. Everybody at the horse show, regardless of what discipline you show in, should be concerned about confirmation because proper confirmation uh, affects every class, every horse, and the performance of that horse. And it also, like I said earlier, uh, uh, preserves the, the integrity of our breed. And I always say proper confirmation is fact, not opinion and, and form to function will describe it.